I pump my ball up, friends. I used to care that I had matching socks. Now I don't. Just don't. What I'm looking for now is uh, is a belt, back belt, support belt. I gotta, I gotta get one. It's for the kind of work that I've been doing the last few days. Pardon me? That's exactly right. So this is preventative medicine, friends, what I do here. And this makes it, this makes life so much better for meaning little, little tasks in life. Putting your boots on in the morning, getting in and out of the car, stuff that it all starts in the core. So I do this exercise. I do it, but I've been doing it for a while, so I have to change it and make it harder. The muscles kind of stagnate. So I can do that by simply just almost looking away or just making it harder. Because if you, if you look away or close your eyes, things get way, see that? Right away. They get harder. So they say that in weight training too. Like you change your exercises, add weight, you know, whatever, this and that. So, but this exercise I've heard from so many people that have tried it now who have taken the, the ball challenge, so to speak. If you think you're pretty hop skippy with your core and you think you're in good shape, give this a go. Talk to me, talk to me about this after you get on it and try to, try to do the diagonal show. You see, let me just get set. I pump my ball up too, which makes it harder. There you go. Do you, do you know how many of these little stabilizing muscles are firing right now? Ones that you don't, that don't fire regularly are now firing when that happens. And they're deep. They're way in there. They're, they're actually in your spine and all around your sacrum and your, your core. That's, that's your core, friend. So after a, a while of doing it, I, I will do stuff like this. You know, start to make it, you know, just a little more difficult maybe the glute get this one going because it's just how it's got to be you got to keep challenging your body i think we don't got to do nothing that's for damn sure but uh i feel so much better when i do this because i like to still do things physical i'm not laying down i'm not doing it uh, i'm 50 and damn grateful to still be anywhere never mind here I'm just happy to be anywhere. So, yeah, I'm a physical dude. I, I, I wanna stay in the best shape that I can in my core. It's not necessarily having a six pack. That would be nice, but I'm a realist too. <laughs> that would be a lot of work. Yeah, I like ice cream too much. Yeah, I like ice cream too much. And my coffee, so, but, but what, coffee. yeah. But what I'm saying, friends, is this exercise, I've talked to, well, the iron horse for one. There's a man who was smashed up like me. You can't all of a sudden just start doing yoga and doing all these different things or Pilates. And this here is the simplest program. This, is, this gets tough. Wendy, you can't do this, can you? Yeah, I can lift one arm, not one leg, though. You, okay, so you got the one arm, the one leg? Yeah, one or the other. Not both. One or the other. Okay, good. So Wendy's been working it too. This diagonal one separates. There. This is the tough one. I think you're right. I think I could do the diagonal one if I just focus a bit. I know you could. Yeah, I could. Yeah, because you, you've been doing this. So yeah. 30 seconds is a is a good number, friends. You know, 30 seconds. And then I once I get very consistent on it, like daily... For about two or three weeks, I start going for a minute. Just because, to push it that extra, to grow, to expand, to become stronger. So, right now I'm feeling a, a sweat starting to come. I feel my core way down, not up here. 
not up. It's different. This is different. This is this is called strengthening your back is what this is. I feel it below my belly button, friends. Below. It's it's this thing has saved me. It has saved me the ball. Now there's also while you're at it if you want to do a little bit more, friends. I found that this one is is really good too. And you, you put your feet against something. Here, I've got it against the couch, okay? And I, I kind of sit on my side of my cheek of my can here like this. And I literally, friends, I just, so I'm kind of sitting on an angle. You see how I'm sitting like this? Put your hands here like this. Just put your hands here. So you're, you're, you're already holding yourself up. The, the effort is just literally sitting here like this is the effort. Well, put your hands up like this and see what happens to this part of your body right here. Just put your hands up in the air. You could literally, this could be your exercise. No joke, friends. Instantly. Friends, when I got smashed to pieces from that tree years ago, I remember I got to the, so, so anyway, I want to get back to this before I take off. This here for the side, and you can literally do this. You, as soon as you throw your hands over top, it becomes harder. So this is just stuff that is, it's going to do things that you don't even know. It's, you're going to notice it one day when you're going to be like, hey, this is easier now for me to do this. This feels great. Meaningless tasks, I call them. Daily life, friends. Helping somebody out on the street. Helping somebody pack some anything. Just being part of, of life. It's from your core. It comes from your core. So I just remember when I got smashed, friends, and I, and I would get I would get to the side of the bed. Uh, this is four or five months later after I got hit. Yeah, it was four. I think four months. And I would sit at the side of the bed like this, okay? And as soon as I took my hands and went, Started to put my hands forward. Instant burning pain in my injury. In the injury, okay? So the weight of our arms. As soon as you do that, that's your core. Your core engages instantly, right now. When you think about moving, when you think about getting up, when you think about tying a shoe, when you think about combing your hair, anything, it comes from your deep, deep down inside your core. It's the first thing that engages besides the thought. It's like, I'm going to core. I'm going to core. D does that make sense, friends? It does. That's what happens. And I learned this because I had my being taken from me. My physical being was taken from Look, I look like Predator with those shadows coming through that plant. <laughs> right, friends? So... I had to climb from the bottom back up. It was a terrible climb. So that's why when you see me on these videos, you think, why is this guy so happy? Why is he so happy and, and whatever about silly little things? Friends, I'm just happy to be here. I'm happy to be here and still get to watch my kids go up and be with my wife and just be part of life. So I almost feel like borrowed time. Does that make sense? Like I'm on borrowed time. I know that is a cliche. It could not be truer with the fellow you're looking at right now. I feel so fortunate. So I'm going to make the best of my time here. I want to be able to, if we're out, it could be anywhere. It's life. You could be at a wedding. You could be downtown with your wife shopping and someone needs a hand doing something, could have dropped something. Maybe there could be some where a man is needed to get in there and help the situation out. I'm not, I'm not being sexist. I just mean there's certain things that could be like a, a breaking up something or just something crazy happened. And, 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 you know, we needed to, we needed to do something about it. Well, if I'm scared to do that because I'm not fit or I don't feel good about myself physically enough, I'd, I'm not living there. I'm not going there. 
I was there at one point, and that was coming out of that injury, I remember. Friends, after the injury, I remember dogs coming up to me, like excited dogs. I would like, honey, get that dog away from me. Get that dog away from me. I was, I was broken. I was a broken, broken, brittle man. And that carried on through the three pieces that I talk about, physical, mental, and spiritual. It was a tough go for me. But now, watch out, 19-year-old fellas. I'll work you right under the table. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Ritz. No, I'm not. It is important to me to have my physical being. I was just being silly there. I was just kind of being goofy. But it's important to me and to who I am. When I was laying downstairs and my family was up here, Hogan was six, Rita was three, and they were running around. Rita was falling down the stairs and it was a crazy time. And there I was sitting there downstairs, laying flat. You know how vulnerable I felt? We don't fear here. We don't fear that people are coming to, the bad guys are coming to our homes here and where I'm at. We don't, we don't fear that. But when I was down physically, I thought someone could come here and rob my home and take advantage of my family. And there's nothing I could do about it. I never want that feeling again, ever. And I'm not saying that's something we fear about. It's something that went through my mind when I was in that situation. So I guess I'm talking to everybody right now, but mainly men in our late 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, in that second part of the, 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 the yardstick of life we talk about, friends, because we do have a choice. Friends, it's hard. It's, it's, it takes gumption to get up and do something physical. Don't think I don't know that. It's tough sometimes. You'd rather just sit and do YouTube or do whatever, have another coffee. I edit like crazy. I'm on that freaking. So for me, this stuff is so important. It's so important. I've been giving her the last couple of days. When you guys see me running that log splitter, you don't see me after. I pay for it. I'm not crying about it, but I pay for it. I have to lay when I come home, there's nothing I can do. I let that, those muscles have to relax again and, and, and go back normal again, right? But I do it anyway, because I know people say, that's not good for you. Oh, it's good for me. <laughs> it's, it's good for me, you know what I mean? So it hurts so good, so to speak. So this ball, friends, I, I'm telling you, I, I, I harp about it because it it transformed me. It transformed me. Now, if you're just starting on the ball, if you're just starting and, and you're, you're, you're willing to give it a try, you have to be willing to be willing. So if you're willing to be willing, have the willingness to be willing. I know that somewheres that someone has to start somewhere. It's hard, friend, especially if maybe you're a bit overweight and think that it's, you, you got a long dig out of that hole. It can happen. You can do it. You can, it just don't, don't take it all on once. It's like thinking about all those things you got to do around the house. Just think about one thing, just one thing. Today, I've got to get out and do that little thing by the, by the compost bin. I got to get that done. I'm just going to go do it. Boom, do it, done. It's gone. You feel good. I did it. Not about all oh, these things, ah, it freezes you. No, just one at a time. So here's what I'm suggesting you do on the ball if you're just starting on the ball. Now, I pointed this out the other day, but I want to point it out again. I'll go back so you can see actually what I'm doing. See this? Okay. Here's the ball. You can see my feet. If you're going to start out on all fours, which I suggest you do, start on all fours. Let's do this, friends. I'm going to come right in here. Okay, so this is what you do. Just just go like this. All fours. Now my feet are touching, okay friends? They're touching. They are. They're they're touching the ground. I'm I'm not off yet. So just do this. Just just go like this, literally even with your arms. Just get down like this because it engages your core to even go like this. This is right at the bare bone start out on the ball. Just just get to know the ball. Get on it. 
maybe, maybe, you know, roll forward a little bit and lift your feet up, roll back. Get to start engaging that core. I'm using my toes right now, you see? I'm going side to side, whoa, see? That engages your core, your core just went whoa, and it went and grabbed yourself, okay? So then just, you know, I'm just suggesting elbows. I don't like elbows, it, it, it throws me off, but I'll just go like this. Now you're using your arms, your chest, your whole thing's engaging. It's not all about your core. This is a phenomenal, phenomenal exercise. So here I go. Now I'm basically on the ball and my toes are just kind of keeping me up a little teeny bit. And I'll show you that what that looks like on my feet. And I'll just put you down here so that you can see what's happening on the ground. Here we go. See, I just use them as training wheels. They're called training wheels until you get to this stage, okay? Once you get to this stage where you're on all fours, now you can just, just do this. Trust me, a couple days, three days, maybe a week of this or four or five days of this, then you'll have one hand up. You'll be like, I must be getting stronger. Yes, you are getting stronger. I guarantee you if your semi got a core on you, this is what happened to me. It was, it was a week and a half. It was one week and a few days. I know, I know it was because I did it every day and it took me five minutes. Friends, these little tasks I talk about, you hear me say it, broken record, putting your boots on, getting in and out of the car. They became easier. I noticed it. I was like, life's getting a bit, these tasks are getting easier. I like this. For me now, it's about how can I split wood better? Now I'm at the stage of where how can I actually get stronger now? It's been four, it'll be 14 years since I got smashed. I'm not gonna lay down, friends. I'm not. I'm the heaviest I've ever been. That's something I'm gonna chip away at. I'm, I'm not fat but I'm heavier than I'd like to be. And that's just because of my lifestyle now. I don't, I'm not, I'm not. When I minimalized and got rid of equipment, I'm gonna shut this video down now so I'm not gonna go into another broken record story. But when I minimalized and got rid of equipment and got rid of my monthly overhead, I had to start living within my means and understanding that my body cannot sustain this, this, this pace anymore. So I had to start making my monthly earnings that I needed to carry this, program around business family all that it had to shrink that number had to shrink from 10 to 12 grand down to maybe seven seven I was hoping for somewhere's around there so that meant I didn't have to go out every day and bust it you see so so my life has changed now thank goodness I was had the foresight to understand that this was a broken record that I was doing and it wasn't going to work anymore I'm ending this video because I can keep going on and on and on. I know there's some people out there that understand what I'm talking about. For those of you that don't watch something else, there's lots of good videos around. This is for the people who get this, who get this, who understand that in the second part of our journey, friends, life kicks in, like that, that things change for us, especially as men. Our metabolisms change. I'm not laying down. I love you people. Thank you for coming to this channel. Steve Small Engine Saloon, thanks for the shout out the other day. I love you, buddy. I think I might even upload this video. We're going live in a little while. I'll talk to you guys later on the live feed. Be kind to one another. Keep going. Keep going. We're going to change the world. We're going to. My world's changed. Over and out, friends. I love you all.